Hello everyone, this is Jiren here again, follow of the way. And today I wanna to talk about the topic of matching my energy. You've, have you heard that statement where uh, they say, you know, somebody's saying that I want you to match my energy, meaning get on my level. Well, I think that, that phrase right there, I think that's being used in the world today because we see a lot of people trying to get the word of God to match their energy. What do I mean? So whatever sinful behavior, actions that you have, people are trying to get the word of God to line up with their actions. What? So let me say this. There's this TikToker that I came across recently where he said that the Lord told him that he has ordained same-sex marriage. Isn't that something? That's a lie from the pit. Because we see in scripture where the Lord says that in the beginning, he made us male and female, you know, a man will leave his mother and father and cling to his wife. The Lord has ordained marriage between a man and a woman. It's just the bottom line. But this person said that, nope, nope, it's the other way around. And the reason why they're doing that is because they have a sin issue. See that? that that's the issue. They have a sin issue. And what they want to do is they want the Lord to co-sign on it. They want to be accepted. And so we see this, with all that we're dealing with today and age, we're dealing with the LGBTQ community. So we're dealing with the same sex attraction. We're dealing with the transgenders. We're dealing with, um, what else? The whole male and female fight. Who's the best, the man or the woman? Can the woman do the same thing a man can do? Can a man do the same thing a woman can do? Is there's this battle? There's the racial battle. You know, who's who's better? The black people or the white people? It's this battle. It's this battle back and forth, back and forth, constantly. And what the word of God has said is this. The word of God lets us know the the, the design that he's has for humanity, for male and female, even for gender and gender roles and all of that. He's talked about race, nationality. The word of God says that we're all one in Christ. We're one race in Christ. Do you see that? But what happens is, is that we are fallen, you know, we're sinners, right? So we come up with our own way. You know, we see the scripture that says that the heart of man is desperately wicked. It also says that, you know, a man devises his way, but the Lord will direct his steps. You see that? So we, we may come up with a, with a something, but, but the Lord is the one that we need to direct us. And then it says that there's a way that seems right to man, but the end thereof is death. So we don't want to try to go our own way. We don't want to try to get the word of God to match our energy. We don't want to do that. Rather, we want to submit to the word of God. We want to surrender to what his word has said. And so this is why when we hear people saying all these things that go against the Lord and you see those believers, believers, they're saying, no, it's not that way. It's this way. And we're always, you know, referring to the scriptures. You know why? Because the word of God is our guidepost. The word of God is our standard. The word of God is the way. This is where we find out the Lord's design, his will, his purposes, all of that through the word of God. So we have to refer to that. We can't go on our own desires and feelings and all of that. The heart of man is desperately wicked. So what I want to encourage all of us to do today is this. Stop trying to get the word of God to match your energy. Rather, acknowledge where you're at right now. Your mind, your heart, you know, how you feel about things. And then go to the word of God. This right here. Look into the word of God. And see what the word of God says. And when you read it, don't try to make it match your energy. What you need to do is surrender to the Lord. Surrender to his word and ask him to help you to conform to his way. All right? That's what we need to seek the face of God to do. All right? And I encourage all of us believers to not be, um, which we won't. But I encourage us to not succumb to the ways of this world, you know, to succumb to, oh, well, to try to so-called understand the sinner to the point where you make excuses, you know, you, 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 you look at the word, you do want to Andy Stanley's numbers, you know, 
he, he's yeah if, if you're familiar with him mm -hmm. we're, we're not going to do that we're not going to take the word to try to change it up to fit sinful humanity you know sinful humanity we need the word of god you see that we need the word of god we need direction we need instruction we need to be shown the right way you see that we don't need to come with our way we're the sinners we're the fallen ones so we need to be redeemed and we need to be uh, transformed by the work of the Holy Spirit. So we need to submit to the word, not try to change it to fit our own sinful desires. Okay. So those of you that get worked up about somebody saying that no, same sex attraction goes against the word of God. You get worked up about it. Stop doing that. We're just talking about what the word of God says. You understand that? When somebody is repping this whole racial thing and they're all worked up about the pictures of Jesus being white and they think that means something, that means absolutely nothing. Actually, whatever, whatever, whatever um, color Jesus was exactly means absolutely nothing. It's the fact that he was God in the flesh and he lived a perfect life of which neither one of us can do, right? You or I. And then he died paying the penalty for sin. And then he rose from the grave, defeating sin and death. That we may be able to have eternal life. That's the whole, that's what matters. Not what color he was. You see that? This is what I'm saying. We're trying to um, infuse our own, our own thoughts and ways and things like that. But we're disregarding what the word of God actually says. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The Lord originally made us for his glory. We were designed for his glory. You understand that? So we need to submit to him. We need to surrender to him. We don't need to try to get him to match our energy. Yeah, we, we don't want to do that. We want to bow the knee before our Lord. So if anybody is trying to tell you something that scripture is not saying, if they're twisting up scripture, they're, they're saying, well, no, I know the scripture says that, but, but this, that they're doing one of those numbers that happened in the very beginning. Remember with Adam and Eve, remember Eve and the serpent? Remember the serpent said, did God really say? He said, well, you won't surely die. You see that? He was changing, changing up what the Lord had already said. Anytime you're faced with anybody that's trying to change up the word of God, even to meet your sinful desires, it is a lie. It is the enemy. Don't fall for it. Okay. We must be transformed, not us trying to change what the word of God has already said. So you're struggling in your flesh, right? Maybe you have same sex attraction. Maybe you have an issue with uh, commitment and you out here sleeping with everybody. I don't know. Maybe you have a self-control issue, right? Maybe you out here, um, I don't know, doing some, some type of devilment, something that you know it goes against the word of God. Instead of trying to twist up scripture to meet your sinful desire, surrender to God. Ask him to help you. Ask him to change you and make you what he has called you to be. All right. What we need to do is we need to repent. We need to turn from our own ways, our own evil ways, our own, this world system, you know, the idolatry here. We need to turn from that and turn to our Lord. He is the one that's made a way for us to be rescued. So that, that's, it's just that simple. Let's not keep trying to make the word say something that it doesn't say. It's, it's, it's pointless to do that. God is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is faithful to his word. He says that he watches over his word to perform it. You see that? He's faithful to what he has said. So he's not going to change up his word because you have an issue in your flesh. That's not how it works. You have an issue in your flesh. You come to God to change you. That's how that works. Okay? So I just wanted to take out a few minutes to say, stop trying to get the word of God to match your energy. That's not how this works. 
surrender to the word of God. All right. That's how it works. Okay. Just that simple. All right, guys, if you have any comments, leave it in the comment section. Um, if you like the video, well, you know what? You might as well go ahead and like it, right? If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. That would be great. And then you know what I always say. We've got to do this. You know, if you don't get nothing else done today, please make an effort to do this. Um, continue. Continue in who? In Christ. All right? Continue in Christ alone. All right? God bless.